Number five, ladies and gentlemen, the fifth food that you must get rid of is oils in a bottle. That includes oils in salad dressings, all cooking oils such as vegetable oil, corn oil, cottonseed oil, canola oil, coconut oil, and yes, olive oil as well. What? Olive oil? Are you freaking kidding me? Yes, olive oil oil the worst oil on the planet okay you know what i call bottles of oils uh, and bottles of salad dressing i call them bottles of cancer i'll explain in a few minutes you're buying a bottle of cancer that's what you're buying i read an article uh regarding a study um that was that was done with oils this medical doctor not a naturopath not a naturopath not a naturopathic doctor medical doctor okay a medical doctor that you people are listening to, you know, the doctors that you go to. So if you if you listen to those uh, doctors, you better listen to this one, okay? Since you listen to those medical doctors, you better listen to this one. Dr. Robert Vogel, Dr. Robert Vogel from the University of Maryland, okay? He conducted this test called the BART test, B-A-R-T, the BART test. It was around 2006. Uh, or 2008, don't quote me. The acronym BART, B-A-R-T, stands for Brachial Artery Reactivity Tourniquet Test. Brachial, actually. Brachial Artery Reactivity Tourniquet Test. Short for BART. I don't have time to explain that the BART test uses a, an ultrasound to measure the diameter of the brachial artery before and after consuming foods. That's too much caca. Okay, all you need to know that this bar test actually calculates the blood flow of individuals before eating a meal and after eating the meal. So, like I said, it's a little more complex than that. Dr. Robert Vogel conducted this test with two groups, two groups, two groups of students. He gave one group a meal with canola oil and the other group with olive oil. After about 30 minutes, when both groups finished their meal, Dr. Vogel conducted the BART test. As a result, the group that was fed the meal with canola oil, their blood flow of these individuals reduced about 10%. Their circulation was quite slow. It lasted for about a couple of hours. Do you think that's bad? Do you think that's kind of bad when your blood flow goes slow? You know, I'm no doctor. But I'm going to say, like Dr. Peter Glidden, that's a bad voodoo daddy, okay? When your blood circulation slows down, okay? It actually damages your endothelial cells, okay? Think about that. Now, the results for the second group that was fed olive oil. Are you sitting down? Sit down. Have a seat, okay? I don't want you to pass out and hurt yourself when you fall on the floor, okay? Okay? As a result, the blood flow for those individuals that was fed the olive oil, the meal with olive oil, their blood flow reduced about 31%. <laughs> Still want to continue eating that olive oil, huh? Are you watching, especially those who are practicing the Mediterranean diet? Are y'all still sitting? Because there's more. I have more. There's more. The reduction of blood flow lasted approximately five hours. Woo wee baby! <laughs> Suffering succotash, jumping Jupiter, five hours. Do you think that is going to have a serious impact on your health if your blood flow is very slow? I'm just saying, okay? It's just a thought, okay? Pay attention. There's more. I have more. As a result of the reduction of blood flow, uh, it causes plaque buildup. Okay, it builds up in your arteries, causing blockage in the arteries, and therefore, bang, heart attack. Ay, Dios mío, ay, en el nombre del Padre, Espíritu Santi. Oh, that's what my grandmother would say. My great grandmother would say, ay, Padre Santo, en el nombre del Padre, Espíritu Santi, artery blockage. God rest her soul. Huh? <laughs> There's more. I have more. Oils also constrict 
the arteries, making it hard. Your arteries are supposed to be elastic, like a rubber band, right? Uh, hardened arteries, guess what it causes? Hypertension, high blood pressure. My goodness. Ay, Dios mío, Jesucristo. <laughs> high blood pressure. <laughs> There's more, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, this is coming from a medical doctor. Not a naturopath. Not a naturopath. Okay? There's more. All oils, and I mean all oils, okay? Um, all oils oxidizes quickly. When you consume oxidized oil, it invites free radicals, causing oxidative damage to your tissues, to your cells, to your bones, uh, et cetera, et cetera, okay? And guess what happens when free radicals starts to attack those? You get cancer. Ladies and gentlemen, ay Padre Santo, cancer, ay ay Dios mío. <laughs> My ancestors did not cook with oil back in the 1700s and the 1800s. They cooked with lard and butter. Okay, go back to your ancestors and get rid of these freaking oils and margin. Okay, margin contains all kinds of oils as well. Get it out of your life. Period. I don't care how extra, extra virgin, virgin that oil is. Okay. You know what extra virgin means? Extra free radicals. Extra free radicals. That's what extra, extra virgin means. It doesn't matter. They all oxidize. Go back to your ancestors. They knew what they were doing. Okay. I found an episode on uh, Dr. Oz. Uh, everybody knows who Dr. Oz is, right? He, he has a television show. Um, I call him Dr. Death. That's Dr. Death, man. He's killing people, man. This episode that I saw, this clip I saw, uh, I think it aired in 2015. He invited some lady to show that uh, olive oil, she claims, this lady claims that olive oil helped her with her constipation. That may be true. Okay, I'm not denying that. This lady recommended a shot of olive oil in cereal. Okay, to take a shot of olive oil and pour it in the cereal. First of all, cereal is the worst food that you can feed your child or anyone. And then you're adding olive oil on top of that that causes oxidative damage and reduces blood flow. You're going to add that too? I guess Dr. Oz and his guests didn't read the study by Dr. Robert Vogel. <laughs> 